you're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. I'll keep trying. Yeah, give it a try. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you! Now let's go! We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal! Over a girl! I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. side of that car. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Thing. 
spark plug. You should hold on to that. It could come in handy. that can't just roll away. Find a weapon. All right, dude. Let's see those ninja rocks. Ninja weapon? You picked up that spark plug to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking about? Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Oh, <laughs> 
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Come with us, and we'll find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... Satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! She could turn right now. We can't take a risk. Hand it over to her. God, just... Okay, fine. I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things! Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you, too. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Doing. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully.
across the town. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Gotta hurry. truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Let me see your house. Please hurry. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Gee, thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Oh, on it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! That window is through! Go! I found something! 
you got Doug. They, they... You got me! Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Friends, be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up if they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. 